Hello everyone. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 2006 modified Seat Leon. And special thanks to Bernard Meehan Car Sales and Repairs, situated in Drum Corner, outside of Mancharles in County Donegal. For all contact information regards to dealership, please see the description box below. So in today's review, we'll be looking at the interior of the car. I'll go over some of the features and explain how they work. We'll also start up, look at the engine, go over the performance data and take the car on a quick test drive. So, let's get started. So this car is 121,005 miles on the clock so far. Fires right up. This car has been fitted with an aftermarket Bluetooth powered system. It's got your air conditioning controls up there as well as automatic mode. Your standard CD radio. And this car also has the 5 speed manual gearbox. Gear shifts are very nice. And to engage reverse, down, left, and up. It's got a storage area here, your cup holder, your hazard indicators. And coming down here, you've got the electric mirror controls as well as your traction control. And also, you got this uh, button here for measuring the tire pressure monitoring system. Your lock and lock, and two more cup holders. You also got your multifunction steering wheel with your normal radio controls and chip computer controls on it. This car has also been fitted with cruise control. So we'll just take a quick look at the back seat area. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I forgot about this. The leg room in the back of these Leons is quite good, and so is the headroom. They are a very spacious car and nice to sit in. Not too bad. Let's just put the sign back in. And we'll take a look at the boot and we'll go around the exterior. The boot space is quite decent. So, as far as the exterior modifications go, well first things first, the roof has been painted black, as is the top of the rear spoiler. This car also has the very popular BTCC exterior styling kit, very common for most people who want to modify these particular Mark II Seat Leons. It's also got the tinted rear windows. The front bumper is uh, lifting just a little bit here. It's also got the 18 inch twin 5 spoke galley wheels, also painted in black, has purple brake calibers, as well as black exterior mirrors. And as you can see, the sun band goes quite a bit down the windshield. And also, it's been debased at the front. I've seen quite a few uh, Seat Leons with this particular styling kit around. Um, this one, you know, I suppose it's in alright condition. Uh, would need a couple of things to make it perfect, but you know, it's not too bad. I'm just reviewing this car today because I don't normally get a chance to review heavily modified cars like this. And also because this car has been lowered by 40 millimeters, I wanted to drive it as well just to see what the ride quality is like. It's also got the twin exhausts. So I suppose we all got our own personal opinions about uh, modifications like this. Also, I don't think a car looks too bad. As I said, you know, a few uh, uh, light little bits of work and it would be mint. But yeah, so we're going to take a look at the engine bay. To do 
that, just pull this handle here. It's got a turbo diesel engine from Volkswagen. I'll actually run through the performance specs of this car during the test drive. So we'll just get an exhaust clip. This car does have an aftermarket blow-off valve fitted. You can hear it about 3,500 RPM. Take this um, Seat Leon for a test drive. Okay. Okay, good strong pull from the diesel engine. It has a 1.9 liter uh, turbo diesel. That's one of Volkswagen's units. Produces 105 brake horsepower. Does about 115 miles per hour, and it's claimed to be able to do about 56 miles to the gallon. So. My first ever review and test drive of a car that's extensively modified. So it's been lowered by 40 millimeters, as I was saying. It's got 18 inch alloy wheels. So it'll be interesting to see what the ride quality is like in these back roads. Just maybe gear down a bit, see if we can hear the wastegate. I can't really hear the wastegate too much in this car, so it does still ride and drive very nicely. It's very quiet in here too. Okay, so the road's a little bumpier right here, and uh, I'm actually quite surprised and also very pleased to say this, but the ride quality is still quite good in this car, so this, despite the modifications, it's not too bad. Prices are around a little bit, but it's quite good, and these seats are actually quite comfy and supportive as well, so that of course does help as well. That's quite a nice car to drive. Now, of course, uh, this uh, particular generation of the Seat Leon is based on the Mark V Volkswagen Golf. So to compare the two cars, I think the Golf is a nice car, but I think on the styling front, the Leon is actually that little bit better looking. I just feel that uh, Seat might have done a lot more with the styling than Volkswagen did with the Golf. It's a really, really nice looking car, and the interior is very pleasant as well. When this car was uh, facelifted, I believe, I think it was in uh, late 2008 or something, um, they put in the uh, radio head unit that you got from Volkswagen. So here is just a standard Seat, or sorry, Seat uh, head unit that we have in this car. There's a very healthy pull off this car, it's really quite good. So we're actually on our way back to the garage at the moment. Um, the reason why is because the fuel is very low. I was thinking about taking this car out onto the uh, longer main roads, but the thing is there's no truck computer here to tell you how much range I have left, so I just do not want to risk uh, running the car out of diesel on um, you know, on the big roads and pulling up traffic. But right now I can actually say this is surprisingly nice to drive. It is comfortable, so it is. I was expecting this ride to be harsh, but it's actually really quite good, so it is. It's not that bad at all. I can only imagine how comfortable this car would be to drive if it was, if it was unmodified, just on standard springs. But no, I like it anyway. I was actually debating there the other day, shall I trade my Astra for one of these? Uh, I don't know, not sure. I mean, this is a nice Leon, I like the mods on it, but I have to be honest, modified cars like this, you know, are not, they don't really appeal to me that much. I mean, they're not bad, but I honestly, I don't think I would want to drive around and live with a lower car like this on a daily basis, mainly because um, I would be the kind of person that would always be crapping myself. Who am I going to scratch the body kit on this car? Because uh, this car does have a uh, BTCC body kit on it. Don't know actually how much they cost, but I wouldn't want to be driving around in the place all the time, you know, scared. You no, know, I'm going to scratch my front bumper. But then again, we do live in Ireland, we do have a lot of bumpy, kind of rough roads, and uh, I don't know, it's just not something I would want to be risking a lot. But really, I like this car, so I do, I think it's nice. So just to finish up today's review, the Seat Leon is quite nice. Um, I would like to drive a standard one of these just to get a good idea what they like to drive in general. But this uh, modified one is actually quite nice to drive. The ride quality was a lot better than I expected. Bodywork is in decent enough condition. It would need a little bit of work, but it's not too bad overall. And the interior of this car is in quite good nick as well. It's very well equipped. 
we'll just power this car down. So hopefully I'll uh, be able to review and test drive a few more modified cars if I can find them uh, popping up. But I just took advantage of this one today because it's uh, not too far away from where I live. So I thought it's only about a 10 minute drive right the road, might as well. So everyone, I hope you enjoyed this review and test drive of the 2006 Seat Leon. Please remember to rate, comment and subscribe, and please stay tuned, we'll play more videos to come. Thanks for watching everyone.